very proud of it. Ah, well, I'm Kathy Eldon for the Huffington Post Cotney Act, and today I'm with the mayor of Malibu. And we're standing in something that looks suspiciously like a park. It's called Legacy Park, but I have a feeling there's way more to this than meets the eye. Yes, there is. So we acquired this land, the, the 20 acres, uh, turned 17 acres of it into this environmental park, which not only teaches people about the environment and the local environment and the seasonal changes and what grows here, but also cleans all the water, 330 <laughs> acres all the way around here, so that all the water runs off the hillsides from the colony, from the commercial areas here in Malibu. All of it comes into this pond, is collected, goes over to the stormwater treatment facility, is sterilized, is brought back into the pond, and part of it is saved and then used to irrigate so that we uh, don't use water imported from Colorado or from the, the Delta. And this could have been 150,000 square feet of commercial area, uh, the environmental impact that that would have had. So that's why we built this park. And it is an environmental cleaning machine. So Paul, we had a problem here. There's a solution. Tell me more. Well, first of all, who are you? Uh, well, I work for Surfrider Foundation, and I'm the national coordinator for their Ocean Friendly Gardens program. People might think, well, what's an ocean friendly garden? Well, we, we call an ocean friendly garden one that applies CPR to the garden, conservation, permeability, and retention. And why? Well, because ocean pollution uh, is coming from someplace, and actually the number one source is urban runoff from our yards, landscapes, from the street, from our cars. And we want people to uh, apply some CPR right in their yard to help fix that problem. Conservation is about plants that are adapted to the climate. They're used to the amount of rainfall that comes here. We don't have to add more water. And you know, bringing water to Southern California is the number one user of electricity in the state. 20% of our electricity is just from moving and cleaning water. It just doesn't make sense. We have enough rainfall for these plants that are adapted to the climate. What about people who are living next to rivers? Is this relevant? Even more so because anything that leaves their site is going directly into that water body. But you know, we're all next to some source of water. We're all part of a watershed. Because a watershed's essentially where a high point drains into a low point. So whether you're right next to the ocean or a river, or you're at the top, we all need to do our part. Now, it feels like you've managed to elicit support locally, and even in the, um, uh, the, the shopping mall, that people are supporting this project. Yeah, it's, it, well, there are people who have a problem with it because it, it gets a little, uh, well, it's fall, and things turn brown. Quite frankly, if you walk through uh, uh, Central Park in New York right now, it'll be kind of brown and a little bit, uh, it won't be as attractive. But this is seasonal. This park represents what this area should have in terms of uh, vegetation and what it would look like if no one was here. It gives you a sense of place. When you have plants in your yard that are like the landscape around you, you feel like, oh, these are the plants that grow here. It attracts the butterflies, the bees, and the birds. And if you have a vegetable garden, you want those native bees to pollinate your vegetables. And that's how we generate fruit and vegetables. Someone's got to pollinate those plants. We have, boy, 30 million, 50 million visitors out here uh, annually to our LA County beaches. So if you want to keep cleaning that water and making sure that it's swimmable, and everybody can have a good time surfing and swimming and paddling around, this is the kind of step that you that you can take. I look at it as a very exciting regional project, and the Malibu taking the leadership, that all of us coming in, the county and the other stakeholders really supporting it and identifying resources. So because it is, it's it's all our responsibility. We're all connected. Yeah, we are. One global tribe. You can help, you can clean the water, you can take care of the environment by going back to nature. You can turn on in Malibu. You, know, you turn on every aspect of yourself in Malibu and yeah. your activism. Yes. Thank you. Well, I'm yeah. Kathy Eldon from Creative Visions Foundation for the Huffington Post, Caught in the Act, and I've just been caught. <laughs> I've just caught <laughs> Susan Nisman, and I'm very, very grateful. Thank you. To meet you. Thank, Thank you for Thank showcasing you this. Yeah. <laughs> and Perfect. congratulations to Malibu, too. Absolutely. Yeah.